is that Pokemon? What's that? You read the title? Well then, yes, I am painting Lapras today on my lounge wall. The entire area is Pokemon themed, but how did we arrive at this point? How did the day start out? Oh no, the wall is too blank. Let me paint it. For reference, this will be the before. And now we move everything out of the area to prep it for the painting work of the day. Yes, I do have a couple things hidden under my sofa, as well as some blankets hidden behind, kind of just stuffed down there. This is a really cool Pokemon chest set. Moving the sofa out of the way, I will not get paint on that today, and then I get to vacuum. And now we have a wall! I'm using navy blue acrylic paint to do my initial sketch. I do like sketching with the paint because I'm going to paint over it anyway, and I'd like it to be paint-based rather than pencil-based. Pencil will bleed into the paint and be a little bit harder to paint over, and the colored pencil is hard to get out of the wall paint, and so I like to sketch with the paintbrush. And then I have three main colors I'm using here that I'm going to go over again and again and again. We have a pale blue. That color that looks like a pale yellow, it's actually a light green. You wouldn't be able to tell because on the yellow wall it looks yellow but it's green. Art's cool. And then a light purple back. Initially, I was going to make this a little bit less detailed, but I just think the highlights and low lights make the painting better. And if it's gonna be a central piece of my lounge, I want it to look all right. I did think I made this outline a bit too dark, but luckily I'm doing one more coat of paint anyway on the main figure. And then I went back over with a lighter outline once that was all done. Originally, I was just gonna paint Lapras, but spontaneously I was like, oh, it'd be nice if the whole water in the base was painted, because if it is, then I can add other Pokemon down there if I'd like to, eventually. And so the whole base of the wall is going to be sea-themed. It'll be all right. <laughs> Luckily, I did have leftover blue wall paint because so many walls in my house are in fact blue. <laughs> I just tend to pick that color. It's a happy color and I quite like it on walls. Plus it's a spa color. So purples, greens, blues, they make for a serene environment. And I just like the color blue. I'm actually glad I did this because my sofa had done a few scratches on the wall that I had not noticed. You probably noticed there were some lines. I added a little bit of highlight to the top edges of the sea. I wanted it to look like Lapras was sitting in the sea, so I added a little bit of shadow. What I like most about this is I can build upon it. I can add more Pokemon later. I quite like that. I let it all dry overnight, and then the next morning, finished out a couple more details. And here's the finished wall. Imagine underwater Pokemon there as well. That'd be kind of cool. Or something riding Lapras. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye, goodbye, bye. And here's what it looks like with the furniture back.